Mulweni. By way of introduction to the language, I mentioned to you in class that there are three clicks in Isi Kosa. First of all, then the X sound, which is articulated on the side of the mouth, as in the word Isi Kosa. Isi Kosa, spoken by the Ama Kosa. Secondly, you have the Q, the sound which is uh, articulated on the palate as in the word i panda i panda meaning an egg and then thirdly the c which is a dental sound articulated just behind your teeth which is which has a sound as in the word trela trela to request we kick off then with a greeting. Molo to one person. Molo. And you can say Molo Buti to a young man. Molo Sisi to a young lady. Molo Mama to a lady older than yourself. Molo Tata to a man older than yourself. And when you get to know the person by name, you can call him or address him by him or her by that name by saying Molo John, Molo Peter, or as in my case, Molo Tichala. To a group of people you would say Molueni. Molueni, as I would address you, Molueni Bafondi. Molueni Bafondi, but Molueni to more than one person. And if you have a response to that, you could use the word Enkosi, Thank you. Or Enkosi Kakulu. Thank you very much. So it's important, of course, that you also learn how to say thank you in Isi Tkosa by saying either Enkosi or Enkosi Kakulu. After greeting a person, you would normally ask that person how he or she is. And in Isi Tkosa, you would say Kunjani. Kunjani, one of the many ways of asking a person how he or she is, but the most common one here, and you are asking how is life treating you. Kunjani, the response, Ndi pilile enkosi, Ndi pilile enkosi, Unjani wena, I'm fine thanks, and what about you? And the response to that would be, Ndi pili le nam enkosi. I too am well. Ndi pili le nam enkosi. Often accompanied by a comment about what is happening in life, other than your health being fine, a common observation would be kushushu. It is hot. Kushushu. Or the fact that you might be feeling a bit tired. Ndi diniwe. But more about these later. A person could agree to that comment by saying Ewe, yes, Ewe, or Hai, or Hai, Hai meaning no. So you have Enkosi, Ewe, and Hai as important everyday words to remember. This Heke is merely a word of approval which I would possibly use in class, meaning good, fine, well done. Thirdly, you would want to know what the person's name is by asking U, and this U is optional, Ungubani Ikama Lako. Ungubani Ikama Lako. What is your name? With the word Ikama meaning name. Ikama Lako, your name. Where we have the dots, you would put in your own name, as in Tessa, Ngu, Tessa. Ngu John, Ngu Peter, Ngu Michael, Ikamalam. And you would want to know what the other person's name is by asking him or her, Wena, and you, Ungubani Ikamalako. A response to that could be, Mna Ndingu Mike, me, 
I am Mike or Gumaik Igama Lam so Igama Lako your name Igama Lam my name you could also use this Ndingu Mike form to introduce yourself to a person by saying Molo Dingu John Dingu Mike Dingu P Peter Good day I am This is who I am You could add to that by stating not just who you are but what you are in life and in your particular case you could say Dingum Fundi E NMMU Dingum Fundi at NMMU or E NMMU rather I am a student at NMMU or as far as my work is concerned Ndingu Mongigazi or Ndingu Nesi I am a nurse or I am a, a student nurse Ndingu Mfundi Wobongigazi or Wobu Nesi E NMMU I am a nursing student at NMMU or in a hospital situation uh, a doctor would say to you Ndi ngu gai kha Ndi ngu gai kha More about the pronunciation of this later K and Kh Point number four Wanting to know where the person comes from or originates from The question U Suka pi, usuka pi, and the u referring, of course, to you, and the pi, hui. Ndi suka e monti, I come from East London, using here ndi for I, and the e meaning from. E monti, East London. E kapa, Cape Town. E khautini, Gauteng Echini Grahamstown Apa Epai Ndi Suga Apa Epai I come from here in Port Elizabeth So Apa meaning here Etinaka from Utenaik E Pitoli from Pretoria Point number five wanting to know where the person stays using the question u shala pi u shala pi and here we have one of the unique isitosa sounds the hl articulated through the side of the mouth as in shala so u shala pi if we had to add voice to the we would have becoming Zala and meaning of course the play so Shala and Zala U Shala Pi Ndi Shala Ehumud Ndi Shala Etinaka Ndi Shala Espechu I live in Humud Etinaka in Dispatch and here the E means in in the next point, number six, you are wanting to know what the person is studying. And here we use the familiar U, U and D again, as in Ufunda or Ufundela Ntoni, Ufunda or Ufundela Ntoni. What are you studying towards? And here, of course, we are also introducing the questioning word Ndoni, meaning what? Funda, learn. Fundela, learn or study towards. So in the class, you are studying Isitrosa, and you would say Ndi Funda Isitrosa. Ndi Funda Isitrosa. But that Isitrosa makes a part of your degree, which is nursing. Ndi Fundela Ubongikazi. Ndi fundela ubongikazi And you, if you are an emergency medical care student, you have a real mouthful to contend with. As in, ndi fundela 
e degree I'm setting forward towards a degree yonedo yonedo lokuqala olu ngxamisekileyo olu ngxamisekileyo a degree in ngxedo assistance help yokuqala first olu ngxamisekileyo of an emergency nature point number seven wanting to know where someone is going playing around with the u and d and merely substituting another verb where i have the green here we have uyapi where are you going uyapi ngoku where are you going now ndia eklasini i'm going to class ndia e library i'm going to the library ndia e meeting i'm going to a meeting ndia esibedlele i'm going to the hospital in other words you would say ndia e if you are going to a place however if you are going home you would say ndia koduka i am going home so koduka means go home dia goduk going to the ward in the hospital dia e wardini however if you were going to someone you would say dia ku mike sorry dia ku pita dia ku dreha dia ku whoever the person may be Okay, so that then is enough for this first video and we will stop here by saying Inkosi Kakulu.